The Brick City. Yes, sir. Newark, New Jersey. Kenneth Fareed. Your boy Mikey Step Back. I'm from Elizabeth, though. It is what it is. Kenneth Fareed working out with the L. Hey, Lakers, what's happening, people? We in the business and talking about basketball again. Yes, yeah, up early because I do this early because, you know, I got I to do the 9 to 5, you know, whatever, just real estate, whatever. Anyway, we talking about the GM making the moves again and again and again. Look at this, man. They're making great moves. Now, let's talk about in a second what they didn't do, all right, with their opportunity. Okay, Mark Gasol was let go. Okay, he was, he, was, he would cost too much money. I want him to keep Mark Gasol. We did the depth chart look around the other day, and it was like, ah, Mark Gasol is good. I thought I thought he would be a little too old, a little too slow. I think they need a backup power forward. I was talking about Jaleel Okafor as an option for the team because he does a little bit of everything. Not known for his defensive prowess, though. Okay, but I think he could do that. Kenneth Fareed comes in, a guy that just fell off the map. I believe a one-time All-Star. Look at the stats on the guy. He's been a living double-double when he's able to play. Last time he played a full season was back in 2018. That's three years ago. Averaged 13 points and almost uh, eight, eight rebounds. So not, not bad. Horrible free throw shooter. There goes some of my issues with getting guys in towns like this. However, you can see what it brings to the table from a defensive perspective. That's not shown in the stats, but obviously the guy is, is able to do what he needs to do from a rebound perspective, and that's another addition to the Nets. He's still 31 years old, so he may still have some springs left. I believe that's when we start losing it. Start losing your leap of leaping ability around that time, but he still he, st he probably still has it because he had three years off. Um, Kenneth comes in with an opportunity to help his team out, you know, being able to be something special for the uh, LA Lakers uh, and come in in a reserve role to support Anthony Davis. As I mentioned, what would that do for the Lakers depth chart to be able to attain Kenneth Fareed after their departure and roster start roster, roster spot opening? of Mark Basal because of the because of the moolah. Because that's that's what really happened, guys. It was all about the money. They couldn't afford him. And they had to let him go because I think he was a great piece. I think they're now missing another uh, potential threat from three point land that they've lost, obviously, right, with the departure of Mark Mark Basal, right? Because DeAndre Jordan is not going to give you that, nor is Dwight Howard. Tough, tough loss, but they didn't want to pay the luxury tax. All right. It is it is what it is for the Lakers. OK, it, I think this is a big loss for the team because when, when I looked at the depth chart, he wasn't there. But here we go. You know, to remain two spots. Remember that the Lakers are stacked. You know, James Day's over four and five. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to go now and show you something in the depth chart. So here goes the depth chart. They're loaded at the point guard position. I mentioned that. I said I like their shooting guards. They're OK. Small forward, little risky. Power four, there goes where, they're, where their assumptions are coming to play. They're going to put James and Carmelo. Trevor Reza is not fast enough at his age to be a small forward now. I, I said it. Now, you may argue with me and say, man, you stupid. But at his age, I don't think he's fast enough to keep up with the young gunner small forwards of this league. Uh, but we shall see. Maybe he'll prove me wrong because, he again, he's a well-oiled engine. And, and and essentially, he's been playing for the last couple of years, so it's not like he's been sitting and coming off. He's been playing every team he's, he's gone to, but he's kind of been playing that power four role, all right? Anthony Davis, Dwight Howard, DeAndre Jordan uh, pretty much solidifies your center position, but I, I do think Anthony Davis is a power forward. I do think LeBron James, even though he's lost some speed, is still your small four, Okay. I think Anthony, Carmelo Anthony, is definitely a power forward because he's all lost all lateral movement and speed. He, on defense, he'll be a liability. He does try, though. He does try. Um, two roster spots available, right? So with two roster spots remaining, the Lakers may still be on the market for a front quarter wing depth. All right? That's the opportunity that this team has uh, because of the loss of Marcus Gasol. Uh, they're not even counting the rookie, so so you know what's his name Reeves, your boy Mister uh, uh, Ayaye, as I talked about before, Matt McClung. Those guys are not even in the picture, guys. I mean, so they're not even talking about them right now on this particular website called Fanside. So 
if two roster spots are available, I'm still going with Jaleel Okafor as the better pick. But if it's a Jersey guy, I am biased straight up. I'm going to say sign Kenneth Reed. I like what he can do from an alley -oop perspective. I like his rebound capability. I think he definitely fits what they need help with, uh, even though um, Jaleel Okafor is a little bit more offensive. He still doesn't give you that stretch. You know, Trevor Reza is going to be the stretch guy. That's what I think. Trevor Reza will be your stretch uh, uh, small four uh, or small power four. That's what it's going to be. Carmelo's going to be your stretch. And then you'll have Farid in there from a defensive perspective. So that makes total sense to me. Uh, I like what they have behind Davis if they're considering him a center. You know, you got Howard and DeAndre Jordan from an offensive perspective. Would have been nice, again, to still have Marcus Saul in there, uh, you know, and play that backup role to stretch the floor a little bit. I think the guard position, they're solid. They're solid. Would like a little bit more length, though. All right? I'm right, going to keep going. I got to go in, bro. I think they still need a little bit more length. The shooting guard and the small forward position, I think you need somebody younger. Uh, I think the, the point guard position is solid enough to get you where you need to go. They got everything there. It's probably one of the scariest point guard lineups in the NBA when you got a guy, a triple-double threat like Russell Westbrook. Kendrick Nunn comes in as the offensive spark. He's going to be like a Lewis Williams and a Ray, Ray John Rondo, your, your, your uh, good old battle general who can still pass the hell out of the ball. So really liking what I'm seeing from the Lakers and the GM. Really great moves from this team, man. Uh, I, I, I think Marc Gasol... Should have been kept, but when you look at the salary cap situation, they had no choice, guys. They just didn't have the money. It is what it is. I'm going to sign off here. Your boy, Step Back Mikey. I'm gone. Kenneth Fareed. Yeah, Kenneth Fareed's on the radar. I think it's a good play. I think it's a good play. Get him and then find another long, big, long, small four. Young gun. All right, I'm gone. Peace.